It's been eight months since a St. Luke surgeon died after a helicopter crash in Malheur County. We first reported this back in October when a co-worker talked about Jim Valentine and the type of person he was. And now for the first time, we're hearing from his daughter. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with her. She's here now with what she had to say. Shira? Gretchen, Jordan Valentine was on board that helicopter when it crashed and killed her father. Tonight, she's sharing what it's been like after that crash and what her journey toward learning to walk again has been like. This was the last photo Jordan Valentine took before her whole life changed. So we were flying in a helicopter in the Hawaii's um, end of October, and something went wrong with the helicopter. We still don't know. Um, we crashed. Jordan was with her dad, Jim, a surgeon at St. Luke's Medical Center. He died in the crash. He was such a caring, caring guy. He was adventurous and he was silly. He was a good guy. For 16 hours, Jordan waited as temperatures dipped below freezing before rescue crews found her. But throughout the night, um, and like watching the, the sun set, I just remember being really appreciative of how beautiful the, the gradient and the, the, the colors were in the sky and then all the stars and just thinking like, I'm fighting my dad. And she's still fighting. Jordan has, um, she not only had the fractures in her spine, but it affected the nerves that exit her spine. So she lost control of a lot of the muscles in her legs. And some of that control is coming back as the nerves regenerate. Katie Callanan is Jordan's physical therapist. She says when Jordan first came to her, she told her she had one goal, to walk again. So we got to the point where she was able to start walking with Walker, I still had to stabilize her leg. We got braces to help stabilize her through her ankles. And then we also were able to just barely get started on. We have a special treadmill that has a harness system. But then the pandemic hit, closing the clinic and putting a stop to Jordan's progress. So that's where Kim and Benga came in. Kim Spranger and Benga Adiko introduced Jordan and Katie to Newgate, a device originally designed for sports enhancement purposes, but by a chance encounter, has been reworked into a device to help individuals with gait, pain, and balance problems, injuries like Jordan's. Thanks to Newgate, video technology like Zoom, and the support of those around her, Jordan managed to keep up her progress despite the pandemic. Every week feels like I'm getting better, but it's just very, very minute uh, changes. The 26-year-old still fighting, just like her dad would have wanted. How much did for everyone. I mean, this is a very special young lady, and, and God's got good plans for her. It's unknown how long Jordan will have to wear that device for before she'll be walking on her own. Her physical therapist says she probably has years of work ahead of her, but this device is helping her so that she learns how to move correctly. Now, Jordan tells me before the crash, she had done the majority of the Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico to Canada, and she still has about 140 miles left through the northern part of Oregon, and that's her motivation to walk again so she can finish that trail. Oh, wow. Thanks for bringing us that story, Shira.